Hello and welcome to OnlineGroomingSchool.com. My name is Yvonne and what we're going to teach you today is how to groom Shih Tzus. Uh, what we, we have here today is E.T. He's going to be our example. Okay, one of our examples. Say hi, E.T. <laughs> Hello. Kind of shy, huh? He's a little timid. E.T. E. Hi. Yep. <laughs> Name after that famous movie. Yeah. So uh, one of the things I want to mention about uh, Shih Tzus, they're very similar to Lhasa Apsos. So if you have a Lhasa Apso, you can use this video to uh, learn how to groom your Shih Tzu because their coat is very similar and also their features are very similar. Uh, but the first thing I want to show you is what tools you need to use, okay? Most importantly, I want you to notice that we use the All Breed Dog Grooming Guide by Sam Cole. And his uh, uh, you know, book is very detailed, it's very step-by-step. -step. In this particular um, example, the, uh, the Shih Tzu is in a full coat. That's what you normally see in a, in a show, show grooming, all right? But it gives you basic things like bath, how often they should be bathed, you know, weekly or every week, or how often they should be trimmed. But if you notice here, the number corresponds to whatever number they're talking about on the body. So number 11, you go to number 11 down here, and it's telling you what you need to do. Mm -hmm. So very, very, you know, step by step, almost like color by number type of instructions. So that's the pattern for the Shih Tzu. Then. That's the pattern. You notice it's just basically a long coat. Um, uh, be honest, you probably won't see that much coming in with a long full coat in a mm -hmm. shop, but at least you know what to look for. All right, so that's uh, the breeds, but there you go as far okay. as your Shih Tzu's. Um, the other uh, tools I want to show you is what we're going to use today. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples, but basically you do need a, a clipper. You also need a, a cordless clipper, a slicker brush, a greyhound comb, which is also known as a, a fluffing comb. We went over this on the pet hygiene um, uh, DVD, so you know what we're, you know you have some similarity. We have a straight scissors, curved scissors. We may use some thinning shears. And in here we have a variety of sizes and blades. We have a seven finishing blade, we have a four finishing blade, and a five finishing blade. And I'm just gonna show you just on some parts of ET here so I can show you the length that you really can be kind of creative with that. All right, and then of course we have our 30 blade that we'll use with our attachment combs to create the, what we're gonna do with him today is give him what's called a lamb clip or also known as balloon legs, okay? Mm -hmm. Now when you said you need a cordless uh, clipper, is it necessary, can you use the electric one? You know, I always like to have cordless and the electric one. Electric one is good for big jobs. Um, I'll show you the one we'll be using. Well, I mean, somebody that doesn't own a cordless can still. Uh, they could still just use, you know, the one that's, you, you plug in. What's nice about the cordless is when you're working in small areas, they tend to be um, quieter. Mm -hmm. So if you're going around the nose, around the ears, or around the pads, they're also uh, they're less vibration. So it helps with the ease of the, um, the dog, you know, being able to uh, behave with that. So good okay. to have. Not a must, but, you know, really good to have. All right? So we're just going to go ahead and move on to ET here. So, hello ET, you ready? You ready for your big debut? All right, so we're gonna move them up here a little bit further. Um, as we showed you in the pet hygiene instructions, we like to use the groomer's helper. The groomer's helper comes with this particular gadget here, and what you can do is the grooming restraints come with a, a little ring here that you can attach to this little device here, and it holds the dog, so let's say you're working on his legs or something, he can't turn around, or he can't do circles and cartwheels on you while you're trying to work with on him with sharp objects. So it's mm -hmm. like having an extra pair of hands that you don't have to pay. All right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with ET body first, okay? And I'm going to start first with a four finishing blade, only because I want you to see the length. Our obje uh, main ob objection here is, uh, not objection, but obje um, goal is to leave 
these nice little chaps here, these full legs. Mo or Mozart? Hi, Mo. Yes, you heard your name, huh, Mo? Mozart. Want a treat? Hi, look at, the, look treat. at the camera. Look at treat? Treat Mozart? <laughs> and he has the long beard like he's we told him. He's got the long beard huh? like the schnauzer look. Let and then see. Dad is a big, uh, uh, what is it? The Pittsburgh Steelers fan, uh, fan. So this originally was uh, black and yellow, so it fades off to be purple. But hey, he's got a little mohawk and we do some stripes. Again, you can have some fun. Um, <laughs>